Hi, this is Dr. A with a clinical chemistry review on your lipoproteins. So lipoproteins are composed of lipids and proteins, and most lipo lipoproteins do deliver fuel in the building blocks such as cholesterol to the peripheral cells. The uh, outer protein molecules make it water soluble and therefore able to be transported in blood, which is you know mostly water. It's not all water, but it's like dunny. 4% water. So your uh, biggest and largest lipoprotein is the articolomicrons. They're, to think of them as big, fluffy, light beach balls. Their diameters can be as large as 1200 nanometers. And these guys are produced by the intestines. And their job is to deliver dietary lipids to hepatic and peripheral cells. So uh, they are made when you have fat that needs to, that is absorbed and needs to be transported. Uh, when they are high, they make the serum or plasma cloudy. So this is an example. Um, since they usually, they, they transport they'll transport cholesterol but they'll mostly transport a lot of triglycerides so if you ate a really high fat meal then uh, these guys could be you know elevated enough to make it really cloudy so uh, these again they're the biggest largest then the next one in uh, size and density is going to be the very low density lipoprotein. So these guys are produced by the liver and they're the major carriers of endogenous triglycerides. So endogenous triglycerides endo from inside the body. There are triglycerides that are produced by the liver and they're made mostly from excess carbs. So this is how, why like a lot of sugar, a lot of carbs can make you fat is because uh, your body wants to keep all of this uh, excess carbs because it's potential energy, but the way that it can store it, if, um, if your glycogen stores are full and all your cells have enough glucose, then it has to store it as a triglyceride. And then it has to send that triglyceride over to the adipose tissue. And the way it does that is via the VLDL molecule. And then you have the IDL molecule. So they are basically VLDL remnants. Uh, they're transient in the circulation. Uh, they've, there are VLDLs who have pretty much offloaded most of their triglycerides is what IDLs are. And then you have LDLs, low density lipoproteins. They form as a result of the lipolysis of the VLDL. So again, as uh, VLDL delivers all the triglycerides and, you know, uh, delivers that, so lip, lipo fat lysis splitting, so it's splitting off and giving up off all, all of its triglycerides, what's left is going to be mostly cholesterol. And so that's what LDL uh, transports. It transports mostly cholesterol. So um, LDLs are re readily taken up by the cells via the LDL receptors in the liver and the peripheral cells. So um, the cells, the they have to dock on the LDL receptors. So LDL molecule docks on the LDL receptors of the cell, and then the cell takes up the whole LDL uh, molecule in, particle in, and uh, it will break it down and release all of the cholesterol and stuff, and that cell can then use up the cholesterol. They are significantly smaller than VLDLs, and because of that, they can infiltrate the extracellular space, and they are linked to plaque formation and arteries, so that's why LDL is often referred to as the bad cholesterol. But of course, it does serve a function in the body, it's just if there's an excess of it, they can, um, like I said, get stuck uh, in the, that extracellular space and lead to the buildup of plaque. So the main job of LDL, again, is to deliver cholesterol to the peripheral cells, which take up the uh, LDL particle via endocytosis and um, extracts all the cholesterol from it. Now, lipoprotein A are LDL-like particles. So it's actually an LDL with a, a different protein attached to it. They're heterogeneous in size and density, meaning they there's uh, small, really dense ones and bigger, fluffier ones. Uh, so uh, and that that does have uh, an impact. Your plasma levels of lipoprotein A can vary widely among individuals in a population, but they remain relatively constant within a person, and they're usually not affected by the diet. 
uh, so it's more of a genetic thing. If lipoprotein A are high, there is an increased risk for uh, coronary heart disease and cerebrovascular disease. And then your high density lipoproteins is the smallest and most dense of all the lipoproteins. It is synthesized by the liver and the intestines. And they can exist either as a disc shape or a spherical particle. Uh, there's quite a, few, a big variety of HDLs. And the role of HDL is to remove excess cholesterol from the peripheral cells and bring it back to the liver. Because remember, the cells cannot catabolize cholesterol. They cannot break it down. So it has to be brought back to the liver, and then the liver will process it out, and it will exit through bile. Um, HDL particles, again, are highly heterogeneous. There's, there's a lot of variety in them, and it can be separated even into 13 or 14 step fractions, which we don't usually do. Uh, but there's a lot that's unknown about like all of the role other than uh, removing excess cholesterol. It could be tied to inflammation and other things like that. And so um, there's still a lot of research going on on why there's so many subfractions and what do they exactly do. So let's talk about normal lipoprotein metabolism. There are four pathways for lipoprotein metabolism. There is the exogenous lipoprotein metabolic pathway, so exo from outside of the body. So that would be your chylomicrons that uh, for, are formed from dietary lipids. So those are the lipids that come from outside of your body, from your diet. The endogenous lipoprotein metabolic pathway is endos from within the body. And it's VLDL that carries cholesterol and triglycerides that are made in the liver. Uh, but mostly it's uh, with a lot of triglycerides that are made from carbohydrates. Uh, your LDL lipoprotein receptor pathway uh, uses LDL to transport cholesterol. It's pretty much predominantly cholesterol, very little triglycerides in there. And they go from the liver to the cells. And then, of course, the cells uh, put uh, LDL receptor on their surface if they need it the LDL molecule like docks onto it and uh, then it gets taken up into the cell and the cholesterol is released from it. The uh, reverse cholesterol transport pathway uses HDL to transport cholesterol from the cells to the liver so it's reversed from the LDL. So LDL goes from liver to the cells HDL from, goes from the cells back to the liver, clearing the old cholesterol so that it can be uh, gotten rid of and leave the body. Uh, so the, those are the four main pathways, and that is your review on your lipoproteins.